Good uh, Good Friday, everybody. Mm. Something like a nice nice cup of nice cup of coffee in the middle of the day, you know. I'm a fan of Dunkin' Donuts. I don't know. It's just my that's just my preference. So, as I'm waiting for more people to to join up, uh, a little experience, a fun experience I've been dealing with uh, pertaining to just doing dishes. So, it all started with our dishwasher having some issues, uh, not really cleaning well. We thought it was a dishwasher issue. Six, seven months later of not really using the dishwasher, um, we finally get replaced with our home warranty. Uh, and which is great. It's perfect, right? And then uh, come to find out there's a leak in in the pipe. So we had to get our insurance, a homeowner's insurance involved. And so like it just became more of like a process. Oh, there's leak water damage on the floor. So we're going to have to get the floor replaced. Uh, and then just kept like snowballing. And I'm like, I just want to just want to wash my dishes. Like, is that too hard to ask for? So that's what I've been doing. But anyways, uh, good to, good to see you here um just to kind of give you a recap of what we're what i'm going to be doing here um really just kind of i didn't wasn't able to do a question of the the week this week uh just because i i got a sinus infection i think um but uh, i'm taking it from the last week which is why don't you own a tv uh i'm gonna do that uh and then really I'm, i wanted to to test uh bringing one of you live and just talking for a bit just you know because i plan on doing that with uh, next week's uh, Instagram live. So cool. So let me go ahead and share my screen here uh, with uh, the first the first portion of it. All right. So these are some of the the answers to individuals who were I, when I asked like, hey, why don't you have a TV? So I'll just kind of go one by one here. So uh, and I guess to to explain that I don't own a TV. Uh, we actually have. Uh, projector, which is nice because we can take it down when we don't need to. It it really just forces us if we want to watch something like it's a classic movie or something. We just we have to like make the intention of doing it and then put it put it away. It just it just makes it easier. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah. So first things first. I've seen how they can become too important to family life entertainment. Yeah, I I think having a TV present maybe like multiple tvs it's difficult because it's just there and it's it's just present and so it, it takes away especially if there's sports like i've seen so many so many guys that are like really too too deep into sporting events and it's i don't know it's kind of weird um let's see i can't see the one behind my head uh don't have time and don't enjoy sitting around watching nonsense Certainly, certainly seems like there is a lot of more more nonsense out there. Why did TV get so bad? Like, when did that happen? I, I feel like it it started happening like in the mid two thousands. I feel like it just started going on like a downward spiral, probably with all like the agenda and uh, political nonsense that they try to force down our throats. Um, we have three young children and want them to exercise imagination and have more play. Yeah, no, well, that makes sense. I, I can get behind that. Oh, it's really difficult seeing any of these past a certain point, so I'm just going to move over to another page here. Okay, we have one in the living room. We watch as a family or do other things. So I, I think this is a good point. You don't need to ditch your TV. Not necessarily. I think it all just comes down to making a plan to not use a TV all the time or watch it all the time. Um, have it as like a, an event, you know? So I think it's possible if you do have a TV, don't feel bad, right? Don't feel bad that you have a TV. Uh, you just have to use it like any other tool appropriately. Uh, I realized I was addicted to the noise and distraction, so much more peace without it. Yeah, I I don't know if anyone else did this, but um, back well back when I had Netflix and and well I don't think I had a TV at this point, but I'd I'd watch The Office and like have it run in the background. It just was like a nice feeling of hearing something familiar in the background, but it was just noise. Like we need to probably be in more silence than we uh, really need, uh, or at least feel like we need to. So more 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 silence equals more peace. 
too cheap to buy one, no place for it. I watch stuff on my phone all the time, though. Yeah, I think a lot of us have gone to that point where we used to watch a lot of TV, and now we watch a lot of uh, content on our phones. Um, we have decided not to have a TV in our main living room. We don't miss it. I don't miss it. I, yeah, so we don't, same thing. We don't have a TV in our living room, and it's nice. Like, in our couch area, there's no TV. It's just we can sit down, read, enjoy each other's company, and not feel like we have to turn on a TV to entertain. I don't know. Um, let's see. <laughs> the person put in, like, no spaces. Uh, time to break free of after dinner TV and build strong family bonds. We have a TV. Hold on. A TV. I can't even, something, one times a week. Okay, so you have a TV, but it's only turned on one times a week. Yeah, uh, that's a good good spot. What about you, uh, people that are still watching? Um, do you have a TV? Let me stop sharing here. Let's see here. If you're still on, uh, Villa, Villa Bose 8408. There you go. Hey, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Where, where, are you, where are you calling in from? Actually, I'm calling from uh, here in uh, Azusa, uh, Southern California. Okay. Uh, but, uh, I'm just right now on my lunch break, and I'm just logging in and trying to see what's <laughs> up going. Nice, nice. Well, I, I hear the uh, the gas prices are amazing in California. Is it pretty, pretty yeah. in the fall there? <laughs> mm. Um, so um, I guess I, I, I was just looking through, and um, I don't, I'm not too sure your to how what your topic was started, but um, oh yeah, I'm just I'm just shooting the conversation. There's nothing in general. Okay. I, was just, I was just asking yeah. questions. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> um, uh, I, I guess when I was looking through the background when you were talking, I guess about the television. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, do you have yeah okay. Uh, I actually don't uh, use a television anymore, just because um, if I stay with a television, I'm usually gonna be stuck and uh, just um, watching over the same things. So I guess that um, I just use my cell phone or my tablet. Now that's easier getting into media, and um, uh, it, it limits my time, you know, from just sticking myself stuck on television. And there's plenty of other stuff that you can, you know, read out articles, especially on, on Catholic um, uh, organizations. You know, I kind of read some scriptures and all that stuff. So that's pretty good. It limits me and try to make me a better person. And, uh, you know, my soul, my soul be a little more better. <laughs> and, the good, and the good way in the conscious. So. That's good. No, that's great. I, you know, I think, like you said, there's a lot of great Catholic content out there that, yeah. Wouldn't normally catch on the television, but it's not on television channels. But EWTN is probably the only one out there. That, but even then, you have to pay to get access. To it. So, good. It's good that you're able to uh, to see that. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate your input there. What was your name? Sorry. Yeah, my name is Juan, and uh, Juan. Nice uh, I'm actually from El Monte, California. But uh, I'm actual. My occupation is a bus driver. So I work for the the Foothill Transit, who provides uh, public transportation for the San Gabriel Valley, and I've been doing that for 15 years. And like I said, I was actually on my lunch, and I just, I just know that uh, I saw one of your posts yes. on Instagram, and I logged in, liked it. So you know, yeah. it's pretty good to always to have time to uh, conversation to speak about God and then uh, about Jesus Christ's journey. Totally. And it, 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 it makes us feel. Uh, well, I guess uh, our conscience is a little much better, and um, you know, it's never it's never hard to speak about it because I know some people are very embarrassed to speak about uh, Jesus and and our Catholic uh, faith. You know, our rules and regulations. But you know, a lot of people don't agree with them. You know, you know our morals, our moral status. So, you know, it's kind of good to log in with. Uh, some kind of flirtation of our religious, you know, beliefs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Oh, cool. Well, hey, um, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to kick you off here, but I'm going to see if there's anybody else that can pop in here. So oh, no, 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 that's not good. Cause I, I'm actually, yeah. I was actually, um, actually, 
Puis il finit chez Manette, je pense. So, uh, you have a nice day and you take care of the week. Et connection, et tout. C'est toujours bon de vous entendre sur les bonnes choses. Oui, bien sûr. Merci, j'apprécie votre input. Non, pas de problème, merci. Take care, God bless. God bless you too. I'm not sure how to end your portion of the call, so I don't. I think you uh, have to initiate that. Ah, <laughs> uh, let me see. Oh, uh, I'm trying to figure out how to log out. I, I've never used this feature before, so I'm I'm still kind of new to yeah, it. Yeah, no, I just figured you were going to if I wanted to buy something. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Let me hey, see. In case you're just popping in here. Um, just was inviting random people here to be able to, to hop on and talk. So um, I just wanted to test that feature out because I've never done it before. So we just spoke to uh, Juan, right? I think you're still on there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's any other part of the feature here, but uh, whatever. Uh, it is what it is. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, yeah. If, if there's anybody else that wants to... Uh, to hop on, initiate it, and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll may pick you. But in the meantime here, I do have a uh, question that popped in. Am I a convert? I am not a convert. I am a cradle Catholic. I am what I uh, like to say. There we go. Perfect. Um, would consider a, uh, let's see, a geriatric millennial cradle Catholic. So perfect. And uh, thanks again, Juan, for, for hopping on, putting your two cents. Oh, look who it is. Look who it is. It's Jacob. Hey, why don't, here, hold on. Why don't you pop in, Jacob? Hold on. There you go. If you don't know Jacob, um, he runs an amazing account. Hey, there he is. Hey. Wow. What about being Patrick? All the way from Rome. All the way from Rome. Working on my paper. Here's Rome. Beautiful view. Yeah. Wow. Consecration just got done. Yeah. So an hour ago. How, how far away were you from where it was all going down? I'm a 10 minute walk from St. Peter's. Um, so <laughs> I'm, yeah, I live where St. Philip Neri is buried, but um, a lot, it was packed apparently. And it was very, it's always moving to see the Pope go to confession. Wait, so it was, he would you watch him do conf like can go to confession? Well, like you know, he's there, he comes in. They did they did they had the reading okay. like he normally do, and then he took he took off all of his vestments and then he oh, wow. walks he walks to the confessional and confesses. You don't obviously you don't watch him the whole time. So <laughs> that'd be weird. <laughs> that would be weird. That's interesting. I didn't get a chance to watch any of that, just like a portion of it, and then obviously I was able to catch the, the actual consecration of it. So that that was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, mo it's moving. If there's something, I was speaking to some friends afterwards. There's something, because I was here in Rome during the lockdown and everything. Oh, wow. um, and on the 25th of March in 2020, he also did that extraordinary Urbi et Orbi <laughs> blessing. And there was right. something about that, which was very intimate. And even tonight, and I felt it again tonight. When he's there, the Pope, right in front of Our Lady by himself. Obviously, yep. we're all there too, but there's something about it, which there's something about his way of doing things, which I find very sort of intimate, papal, intimate sort of thing. Different than the popes we've had, but nonetheless, I think there's this intimate quality. But anyways, yeah. it moved me. So yeah, I, the the moments that I caught where I'm like, wow, okay, I take back yeah. some of the things I said about Pope Francis, even though I may not agree with everything he says. <laughs> I we know. have to, we have to, you know, we have to be faithful sons you know, yep. of the church yeah. always. So, Anyways, I'll let you, uh, I'll listen yes. to your question and answer, get to your no, hangout. I appreciate it. Things, things yeah. are hopping on. It's probably really late yeah. where you are. So I'll let you back to your, to your, do your work or whatever your, your yeah. paper you're working on. Studies, studies. Anyways, happy feast. All right. Talk to you soon. Happy feast. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Perfect. All right. So we have a couple more questions that popped in. How do I get off? I don't, so that's the thing, I don't know. I, I was literally trying to- I don't wanna, to do I just close, like, do I leave you? I think I leave you. I, I don't know. Yeah. I, okay, so I tried, okay. 
perfect. I don't know how you did that. I need to find that out. But like, I felt bad for, for trying to be like, okay, Juan, you got to go. Um, so there you go. Okay. Thanks, Jacob. Um, so yeah, we have a couple more questions pop in. I've seen the term cradle Catholic a lot. What does it mean? Yeah, so it basically means you're born into the faith. So for instance, my parents are Catholic. And so I was born into it. So hence the, the cradle Catholic verbiage. So um, it doesn't really mean much of anything. It really, once you start learning the faith and you're getting that foundation built by your parents, and then you go all the way up to, uh, why am I blanking? Why am I want to think confession? It's not confession. It's uh, start the other C word. <laughs> uh basically there comes to a point where you you affirm your faith after a certain age and then that's when like you yourself are now saying yes i want to be catholic i'm a, i'm definitely confirmation thank you so much uh words thrown together literally trying to come up with that thank you confirmation yes i'm catholic guys <laughs> i promise <laughs> uh so yeah long story short um all right, great. So that was the only question. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, yeah. Next week, March 31st, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard. I probably do 505 Pacific Standard Time just to kind of get some time because I do get off of work then. Uh, I'm going to do a uh, interview, interview, short short form interview with um, Do the Harder Thing. <clears throat> so I'll put on a, another like story of the time of when that's going to be. Uh, if you're just hopping in now, I'm so sorry. I'm about to hop off, but I'll make sure to throw, to throw, um, oh, we got it. We got one last request. Here we go. One last request. That's, we'll, we'll pull in here. Surprise visit from, what state am I in? I'm in <laughs> Arizona. There you go. <laughs> I think I need to your video then if you're getting off. <laughs> I know, right? This is so funny. No, it's, it's cool. I'm. I'm trying to test this little this little feature out here and it's kind of funny and also awkward when it's like, hey, okay, I gotta go on to the next person and then they're like, okay. And they can't like boot anybody, they have to do it on their own. Yeah. Anyways. I, I honestly just did that just to see if you would and I wanted to wish you a happy uh, feast. Yeah. So feast to you as well. Thank you. No, it's, so it's we can be together in spirit and celebrate. What are you having today? Are you celebrating? <laughs> Yeah, well, we're definitely having meat. I actually just had a bacon sandwich, a bacon egg sandwich. So that was part of the food. <laughs> you should have made it real about that. <laughs> I thought about it, I'm like, this morning, and as I'm, like, starting work, I'm like, I really should have done something about this. This was a once in a kind of a lifetime uh, thing, but whatever. Mm. Yeah. So Adam made these breakfast tacos with cheese and sausages, and we're like, wow, this is great for a Friday <laughs> celebration. That is great. They're great. Um, but um, okay. hey, whenever you want to pray a rosary with me, that's really why I came. <laughs> Only if I can mess it up, uh, as far as the Our Father goes. I don't know if you remember that. I no, yeah, you'll be fine. It was awful. I don't, I don't know if anyone saw it, but I was uh, doing a rosary here with... with um, on your lunch break, no less. On lunch break, yes, on nonetheless. And then I was just like, I think I was doing too, I was too distracted, and I couldn't remember the words to the Our Father, the second half of it. And I'm like... And it was just this awkward sign. It probably doesn't seem that bad on, on actual, uh, the actual uh, uh, live stream, whatever, but it was just like. I'm there was one time I started a decade and I forgot the Our Father until I was like three Hail Marys in. <laughs> so I went back and said the Our Father and then people started messaging saying that I did say the Our Father and I was like, wow. <laughs> Oh well. Do you, do, you re, do you go back and start? Yeah, it's so funny. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> When you get in the moment. You can only do so much. But um, anyways, I hope that you have a great Friday yeah. and uh, enjoy. Absolutely. Cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Take care. You too. All right. There looks like there's another another question before you log off. I just, because I see more people logging on. I'm so sorry. Um, are we allowed to eat meat on the Feast of the Annunciation? Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Because, yeah, we can eat meat. Hence why I have half-eaten bacon egg sandwich. Anyways, okay. Yes, have a blessed day, everybody. Um, I guess I'll try to go up before we end. I know, I know there's a lot of people that just joined here. Let's see, check in the comments. Making sure I didn't miss anything from you. I don't think I did. Da, 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 da. Uh, okay, yeah, there's nothing. 
didn't see much. Oh, hey, here we go. Hi, Keith. Mr. Starbuck and our teens are going on a retreat. Please pray for our core team and the teens. So, everybody, let's pray for these teenagers as they go on a retreat. So, make sure to keep them in your prayers. Right. In, in David, by David, I'm, I'm long enough. Anyways, good talk.